No. Great. I'm thinking that's going to leave a dent in the car. And that. Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, we're back with a new game which is Revhead um, for the channel. Don't know if you can hear in the background but the didgeridoo is going. Um, I'm liking this game already just because of the music. Um, now for those of you who don't know, um, this game's a little bit like My Summer Car, um, but more based in Australia. Um, as you can tell from the kangaroo here. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is create a driving license. Uh, I've got various different things here, mechanic, racer, dealer, which I imagine you build up over time. Uh, we're going to start off with 5k. Uh, let's just pop our name in here. Okay, so there's this guy called Charlie. Um, he was one of the most famous race car drivers in Australia for yonks, as it says. And Charlie knows our love for cars, so he's invited us over to Australia to help him out in the garage. His job would be to build cars in the garage and race them on nearby tracks. Uh, so off the game. Ah, uh, we've got a little postcode from Charlie here. G'day mate. How are you going? Haven't seen you for yonks. How's your old man? Tell him Charlie says good day. I've just moved into Nordu or New Nah, it's, it's gonna be Nordu. A real slice of heaven for me. Every weekend there are races on the go. And with your love of cars, you should get over here. It's gonna be a foot out summer, so come give us a hand. See you when I'm looking at you, Charlie. Good day, mate. Here you are. I'm glad you made it. Are you ready to get stuck in? Yeah, but what are we doing? We just bought this place with a garage and petrol station. I also own the land at the back. I want to build race cars, so I knocked together a track out the back of the servo for testing cars for racing. People know that as the backyard, sure sounds great. Okay, I have a mate who wants to get his hands on a rip it right. Okay, so this is going to be the tutorial, and we're not going to do that because I want to take my own course with this. Um, so I'll just put thanks mate, but I'll build my own. Cool. Um, so what we want to do is go into the paper and see what cars are available. Okay, so that's just telling us to get to the paper. Yeah, right, I'm all over it, cool. Um, so one of the cool things you can do with this, you can take parts from cars and put them in other cars. Um, so I'm thinking we've got a, rack, a wrecked Wellia 75 V8, and then over here there's just an old Wellia. Wellia, maybe, says so that. Um, or even a rusty one. But anyway, what I was thinking is we could take the parts out of the V8 and put them in the old. Yeah, let's give that a go. Okay, so we don't actually have enough. We only have 5K. So I'm thinking if we buy this. How are you interested in my wrecked Whalia 75 V8? You can have it for 3,200 bucks. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Cool. Uh, pop it over to the parking yard. And there it is. Looks like it's missing a wheel. 453 horsepower. Okay. Can we move? Yeah, we can move around. Oh, it's missing two, I say wheels, tires. Missing a headlight. It's all kind of junked up. Okay, um, so if we go into this... And then this one, we can bring the car up on the lift and have a look inside. Now the parts, um, they just have like a, 
like a blue spear just floating in the air that's where there should be something but there isn't in fact if we click on that there we go available headlights um, we don't actually have any headlights so we can't put anything on there um, if we go into an item like this air filter you can see it's just broken uh, which is a shame because we can't use it uh, but we can sell it which is good um, it also show any other parts that are installed on top of that part and then you can go into those parts and see um, the condition of them so if we click on the engine so we've then got the condition of the engine uh, we can also fix the engine um, and all the parts on it and then we can go into those parts to say if we went into the ignition um, and we've also got the option to fix them as well um, so for now if we just remove everything apart from the engine because ideally we want to keep the engine um, for the other one um, and then we'd take it from there so remove Uh, interesting thing to note, if you actually click on the suspension, um, you can actually click remove and that removes everything connected to it, so it includes the um, alloy and the wheel itself. Remove this headlight, remove that. Remove that, remove the dash. Uh, imagine that works for the back, yeah it works for the back as well, so you click on the suspension and it removes the whole lot, remove that. Differential exhaust. Oh, rear light, fuse box, battery. Oh, and the horn. Cool. So that's everything apart from the engine. So yeah, this is all the parts that are now in our, um, okay, there's not, there's not as much bad stuff as I thought there'd be. Uh, the thing you can do is if something's broken, I mean at the moment we could sell it for nothing, but if we fix it, we can now sell it for $121. So it's worth actually f fixing things um, before we sell them. I mean, some stuff you just can't fix, um, but we may as well have the money. Sway bar is broken and cannot be fixed and isn't worth any money at all, um, but we'll just get rid of that one. So 3,789, which is pretty good. Um, and we've still got the engine out of this one. And we can also sell the frame. Um, which is probably something we want to do, actually. So let's remove the engine from this. Is that everything? Yeah, cool. So the frame itself is worth $180. So let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I could do the cash injection. Cool, so the next thing to do now uh, would be to go and get, oh no, it's not actually available anymore, the one that we were going to get, the old Walia, Walia, even. Uh, but this one is, I can't even afford sport or the big wheel, alright, we'll just roll this, we'll take the yellow car. Uh, go back out to the parking lot. There it is. Oh, I thought it looked good then. Then it loaded the rust. Uh, so this is only 119 horsepower. So hopefully, if we can fix up the uh, V8 engine that we have, we can uh, bring this up a little bit. Yeah, because this has an inline four instead of a V8. So. Let's remove that. Okay. 
Apparently this is missing something on the gauge cluster as well. Small instrument one. That's annoying. Okay. Um, so engine... Ah! So we had the RX V8, whereas this had the SL4 in it. Uh, so let's put the RX V8 in there. <laughs> worn out, broken. Worn out, bad, used, bad, worn out, used. <laughs> anyway, let's just install it. There we are. Um, so ideally what we want to do is fix this. We don't have 2,000. Um, can we fix anything on this engine? Ah, we can fix the start. That's fine. Generator. Ignition. Not the thermostat. Water pump. Sparks. Okay. So we need sparks, thermostat, and definitely an oil filter and a carburetor. So if we go into this engine, sparks are only at 90. So we'll have that. Oh, although, I'm thinking the spark plugs. Won't go on this. Oh, no, they will. Okay. I, I was just thinking, although it's the same car, it's not the same engine. So that might have been a problem. Uh, but no, that's fine. Okay, so sparks are at 90. Can't fix them up anymore, though. Uh, it's been a thermostat and a carburetor. Pop back into our SL4 engine. So this is called a carburetor L. And we do have a thermostat as well, which we can fix. Awesome. So take that and the carburetor, which can also be fixed. Take that as well. Okay, pop back into this engine. Remove. Oh, air filter just broke. Okay, so carburetor, new. Ah, no, incompatible album one cannot be installed. Okay, so we're gonna need one for the actual engine. Ah, that's annoying. Can we take the air filter off? of the other engine. Yes, we can. And that's 89%, remove that. Will that go on here? Carburetor. Yes, cool. So we just need a carb breath. So. Uh, what was the other thing? Thermostat. That also works. Okay, so the only thing we need is the carb breath. So. But other than that, we're good. Awesome. So. Can we make some money out of this old engine now? We're not going to use it anymore. Also put our old parts on this as well. Okay, so it's going to cost 60 to fix as well. Puts up the price a little bit. Um, 
Should anything we can fix on this? Yep. Fix. See, that's not going to work. Fix that. Can't fix this box. Okay. So we get 2,391 from that. Grab that. Cool. I am also sell this stuff as well. Cool. So the moment we've got ourselves a reasonable car, I guess. Um, with the V8 engine swapped out into it. Um, and we're still sitting on 3k. We're not doing too bad. Uh, but now what we need to do is find ourselves um, an air filter. Uh, which will go on our engine. I know it wasn't an air filter, was it? It was a car brown, wasn't it? Confusing myself. Yeah, it was. Okay, how? <laughs> okay. Ah, see, so it does actually say there for a uh, Walia L4, which is not what we've got. See, that's a V8 for Nanu. It does say V8. Uh, for a V8 engine. We'll give it a go. It didn't install the air filter. I must have accidentally sold it. Ah, great, so now we need an air filter as well. Uh, air... Hmm. I wonder if any... Oh! Air filter for a while, yeah. Zoom that will work. Let's give that a go. Yes. Okay. Let's try starting this thing up. Bit of back smoke out of that there, but um nah, it works. Awesome. Bring this thing down. And there's all these other things you can adjust, uh, such as the spark. Uh, presumably you want it bang in the middle, where it's a little bit off at the moment, so let's just adjust that. There we go. Um, also, I don't know if you can hear, but that's squeaking in the background. Um, that's the belt, I believe. So we may need to get a new belt at some point. Um, we can paint the thing. Should... We just stick with the yellow. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll roll with the snake, whatever. Roll with it. 400 bucks, no big deal. Cool, um, other than that, we're good to go, I think. Have we got fuel? Oh, oil, oil, oil. Uh, it's completely black at the moment, so we'll redo that. Uh, should we pump them up? Um, no, let's take them down a little bit. A little bit of grip. Fuel. Um. We just leave that as it is. Water. Could wash it a bit. Of course, we just did the paint job, so I don't think that's a problem. 
body. We don't need to do anything weird because. I don't think it's just damage anyway. Okay. So can we now take it out and race it? Oh, we have to actually find out what these are. Okay. So let's drive. Okay, so it's a bit like my summer car, where you have to have to put it in gear, which is shift. Uh, it's a bit whoa, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this thing's not bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hope that didn't do any damage. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I'm thinking the track. Uh, good on you, mate. Managed to find the backyard. So this must be the track out the back. Yes. Okay, select race mode, time trial, race. Okay, so we're going to unlock these. Let's do time trial. You want to bet? Okay, I'm not too sure about how good I'm going to be at this, so we'll just say bronze. If you want to beat that that time, you're going to have to bet. Sounds like a rot to me, maybe next time. Or sounds like a bit of a lark, I'm game. Uh, yeah, roll it. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Careful, no, 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 no. Whoa. What's the time we've got to be? 29 seconds. I'm not too sure how you change down the gears. Whoa! So I don't want to go up too high and not be able to change it back down again, but... So that's 32 seconds. Okay, I've worked out how you... Whoa! How you go down. Round we go. Whoa. No, no, no. Right. Second. Third. Bring it down a little bit for the bend. Whoa, no, 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 no. Alright, second. Third, maybe? No. Great. I'm thinking that's going to leave a dent in the car. And that. That is starting to smoke. Still seems pretty powerful. Round we go, round we go, round we go. Change gear. Oh, okay, something. Whoa. <laughs> ah. So, stop race. You lost the bet. Continue. Back to the garage. Wow. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up here. I don't really want the episode going on for too long. Um, but in the next episode, we'll try and work out what the hell actually happened to the vehicle. Um, I'm hoping maybe just the belt that was squeaking originally went wrong or something like that. But um, just don't know yet. Um, but yeah, thanks for all the support.
And that's it. Cheers.